So today is going to be really, really short because, you know, as we're coming into the winter solstice, as we're coming into the holiday season, as we're ending 2020, you know, our this Facebook Live is on Monday is all about mindset and how you're thinking and what you're creating and who you're being and what you're doing in the world. And, you know, what I know to be true is most of us don't even take the time to celebrate our wins. Oh, hi, Joanne. We don't celebrate our wins. We don't celebrate um, our achievements. Because why? Because we're go-getters. We're, we're big dreamers, big goal setters, big doers. And yet, if we continue to just move forward without stopping and having that stillness, that quiet, that moment of reflection and celebration, then, you know, I think what happens, at least for me, I'll be transparent, sometimes it's like the achievement feels a little more hollow than if I just sit with it. Hi, dog. That would, if I just sit with it and I celebrate it, right? If I just sit with it and I celebrate it. And I think that sometimes it's hard for us to celebrate because, you know, we conflate celebrating our successes with some kind of bragging or some kind of boasting or some kind of arrogance. When in reality, look, tr truth is, bold truth, right, is creating the life that you love is not easy. Thank you, thank you. Yes, it's not easy to, um, hi everybody, love the hearts, keep them going. Hi, Diana. Heart, heart, heart. That really just tells um, Facebook, like push this out into the feed so that your colleagues can see this. So be a good participant, right? And lots of hearts. Um, you know, we, we conflate that brag, you know, boasting with like celebration. And I would love to, I'm going to put a post in here. Thank you for really analyzing, really looking at, um, good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's lovely to see you really celebrating. Hi, Laura. Good morning. Um, really celebrating what happened in 2020. Look guys, what we've experienced is actually, you know, uh, once in a lifetime, once in a generation, you know, I mean, think about every generation has some major catastrophic something, right? And, and those of us who are like, oh, older, we can remember a lot of things. I mean, Reagan getting shot and then 911, of course, I was in the Oklahoma city bombing. Um, and of course, this pandemic, recessions, et cetera. And, and you, you know, you make the choice to keep moving forward. So this year, 2020, I, you know, it topped the, like, I don't want to minimize 911, of course, but boy, that was, that was, this is different, right? This is, we've been in this for a year. It's been a, it's been a lot and we still have a ways to go. What have you done this year that you can reflect on in 2020 what can you look back on? What can you identify as some success that you've had, some aha, some awareness? Please feel free to share. And I'm going to also post this um, with uh, the description above asking, like, what was a win for you? And I know that sometimes women, we feel like we shouldn't be celebrating our wins when we look around and there's a lot of people that are suffering. Here's the reality. You not celebrating your wins doesn't change what's going on for other people. It doesn't change it. It changes it. You celebrating is for you. So their situation doesn't necessarily, you can't change that. It's like this. I was reading the other day and, and um, this passage was like, you getting sick yourself? Like, I'm going to go ahead and get COVID so that I can go ahead and, you know, help other people. Like, that's not helping. I'm going to go ahead and stay broke and not build a business. So, because other people are broke, like it is illogical. So really, what can you celebrate? How can you show up in your beautiful, amazing brightness and be a beacon of possibilities for those around you? That's what I seek to do all the time. Um, Joanne said, I decided to work for myself and took the leap and she's moved and oh my gosh, stepped out of the nine to five grind. Thank you. Yes, we have these options. I think the thing that holds us back is we don't get into reality of what it takes, how much money we really need to make, um, I, I mean, I'm not in denial that my ego's like push for the million. We were so close, you know, we were, we were, we were short, but we were, you know, inching closer every day. 
And so of course my ego's like, go for it. And then I've got to hire a bunch of people and blah, 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 you know, to do all that. It's like, you have to really ask yourself, what is, what is worthy of your time investment? What is worthy of you investing money to learn how to do things or to take things off your plate? What have you done to do those things? It's really looking at what do I really need? And what do I really want? I'm a big believer in any of you, anybody who's coached with me knows, I'm always saying, hit the thing you need first. Get solid on what you need to have to pay your bills, to pay your mortgage, to blah, 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 whatever the need is. Get so solid when you're building your business first with that. Um, Year's not over yet. You got, yeah, I'm close, Joanne. I'm close, but I'm taking so, I'm taking the rest of the year off, really. Um, what is it that you actually need? See, I think this is the mistake. And so I want to, I want to have you celebrate and then I want you to be in reality, right? I'm all about you dreaming big, but I'm also about you attaining, like achieving a goal so that you become a woman who follows through, that you become a woman who is capable, that you become a woman who is committed to an outcome. Sometimes when we have these goals that are just like, I want to, you know, when it's so big and you haven't even hit like a con consistent something, it's hard, guys. It's hard. This is but you can do it. I would rather encourage you to hit a consistent something, five grand a month, 10 grand a month, um, working four days a week consistently before you're like, I just want to work two days a week and make a half a million dollars. Like, no, what do you need? What do you need right now? And and all out, go for that for and then be consistent for a couple of months so you don't have this up and down and up and down. Look, nothing's harder in business than to not have consistency with your revenue. Now you can plan consistency when inside of my groups, we're going to be looking at 20 21 and and launching so you can consistently plan for things. But that's because you've planned for them. It's not like you're winging it. No one gets wealthy winging it. Kitty, kitty, kitty. No one gets wealthy winging it. Sorry, we have a new kitten. Everybody's all like, all the cats, you know, the other cat is all crazy. Um, so figure out what dollar amount you need, how many hours you really want to work, and that's all you're going to focus on for like the first quarter. What do you need to make that happen? Achieve that within the first quarter, which is possible for all of you, 100%, and then sustain that for a couple of months so that you can prove it to yourself that you are capable of sustaining it. Follow through. Stop jumping all around. So these are the things when you become consistent. See, then the exciting part comes. <laughs> then when you become consistent, this is how much I need. This is how much I'm going to be working. This is, you know, your numbers, improve your skills. Then you can add on. Then it's additional revenue streams. Then it's more time off. Then maybe it's hiring somebody to work inside your business. All of those things. So what can you do? And we'll talk more about this at the beginning of the year. What can you do to figure out what is it that you truly need and what's the plan to achieve it? And then pick a number of months that you're going to continuously sustain that and then add on. That will be so worthy of a massive celebration at the end of 2021. And so now reflect back. What is it that you can sit in stillness and appreciate right now, right? right now. So enjoy the rest of the day. Today's a big day. <sighs> I've got a million calls, which is fantastic because I'm taking a lot of time off. I've threw my back out guys. Oh my God. And so I'm just like, Ugh. here's a win for me. I'll tell you, I'll just be transparent. Here's a celebration. So I had been consistently for seven and a half weeks, getting up every single morning, working out every night, taking a walk. And then Thursday night, Thursday morning, I increased my weights and everything and threw my back out. So today's Monday morning and I'm still like, Ugh! so I just laid around this weekend, which is not typical for me. Although it's fine too, because I got a new kitten on Saturday. So I was able to chill with the kitten. I'll send, I'll put a picture out. Here's a celebration for me. You know, there would have been a time that I really beat myself up. And was like, I can't believe my back is out. No, I don't want to be lazy now. I don't want to fall back in the not working out habit. 
And I realized part of the whole thing about exercising is just like, that's the, that's the, um, the woman that I am, that it's not about like, I have self-care, I work out. It's just like, I really take excellent care of myself, which would include that if I need to pull back a little bit, exercising, then that's the way it is with no, no judgment attached to it. That's just part of my identity of loving myself, caring for myself, um, and no negative thinking about it. Like, that's a big win for me. Like, I can't believe I fell off the wagon and oh my God, what'd you do? You hurt your back. Uh, da, da, da. I didn't do any of that. In fact, I mean, I'm lo I love working out, so I'm looking forward to it. But the bigger piece is, is that, oh, you know what it's like not to beat yourself up? You know what it's like not to have all that negative Nelly, fear-based sadness, um, anxiety-ridden feelings in your head? Do you know what that's like? Thank you for the love, right? Do you know what that's like to be able to, to honor the process, honor yourself? I would never have said to another human being, like, I can't believe you lazy ass not getting up even though you can barely walk around. Like, you would never do that. So today, my friends, my dears, I want to encourage you to celebrate your wins and no matter how big or small, like, I mean, some people might think just not be saying negative things to yourself is small, but to me, that's like pretty damn massive, right? That's like, yes, Mary, yes, yes, yes. It certainly keeps me um, inspired, right? To just continue this journey of excellence. You know, my words for 2021 are excellence and simplicity excellence and simplicity. Everything I'm asking myself as I'm looking at my goals for 2021 is how can I have excellence in my life, which I have a lot, by the way, you know, um, and how can I have simplicity and how can I share that with you? How can I make things less complicated? How can I refine processes for you? And for me, here's the simple how to with business show up, Tell people you can help them because guess what? You are a therapist, you're a, you're a helper, you're a healer, you're all of the things. You're not gonna screw anybody up. Like, let people know, hey, I've got something that I can help you with. Oh, that's a problem? I can help you with that. And, and you will refine your niche, you will refine things. But right now, I wanna encourage you guys, there's no reason, today's what, the 20, whatever it is, the 20 something-ish? That says a lot, right? That I'm like, I don't even know what the hell date it is, but that's okay. Um, like you have still 10 days left of this month. Like go make $5,000, you guys. Go make 10 grand. How hard are you working? How, how, how diligent are you being? How committed to your goal are you being? And you have to do the work. You have to do the numbers. And, and do them without like, you know, being yourself up. I only talked to five people today. I only talked to, like, I want to encourage all of you, like 20, 25 people a day. All right. Well, I don't know how I got off on training stuff. So here's the thing. Celebrations. Um, think about what is your minimum that you need to live a great life. Figure that out. I'm happy to help you to direct message me if you want more on that. Um, if you're in one of my programs, well, obviously we're talking about that. Um, what is it the minimum that you need? Do that quickly, sooner than later, fast. I know you got all the modules, you got to listen to all the stuff, but you know what? I want to encourage all of you just to like freaking go for it. And you can still make, oh, you can still make 10, 5,000, two grand, 1,500. Go make yourself thousands of dollars. Here's the thing. And this is how I'll end. Um, I used to think nobody's going to buy anything in December. What well, now then people were like, nobody's going to buy anything in COVID. Okay. This is my biggest year. And a lot of my clients, biggest years ever. This is my largest month that I've ever had December in a pandemic. So it's completely possible. Here's the other thing. One last note. I'm really looking forward to, I'm, I've opened up the doors to private coaching, elite private coaching again, rare. I only do that every now, literally every now and again. Um, I have three spots available if that's something you're interested in. It is a significant investment because you have a lot of my time. 
it's more than any other program or mastermind, just as an FYI, where, um, where you need to have your head. Um, I'm so excited about that, and I'm so excited about, um, I'm coming out with a podcast this year in 2021. I'm um, opening up The Regret Proof Life. I'm going to be creating a, uh, like doing the exact same thing, right, in my business coaching, at, and I will in The Regret Proof Life, and I'll launch um, a Facebook group and show up in the Facebook group. Everything that I'm teaching you, I'm going to show you to do it as well. So it's going to be super fun 2021. All right, enjoy the day and I will see you soon. Bye.